Hey Commanders! Today we will be talking about how to win as a five-city nation in conflict of nations WW3. We will talk about what units to make, cities to annex, managing your economy, and how to deal with early game diplomacy. Let's dive into the optimal setup for a five-city nation and the units you should focus on. Your situation falls into two scenarios, landlocked or not. If, you, if you're landlocked, you can start by researching infantry and air superiority slash strike fighters. Then you can prioritize building an air force from your capital. I personally suggest building units like EAA or strike fighters to eliminate ground threats. Then in the remaining four cities, build army bases for infantry in each of the four cities and then arm industries to boost your economy. Maintain infantry and air force production here in these cities. Then as time progresses, reduce reliance on air superiority as opponents deploy anti-air measures. Instead focus on meta units like multiple rocket launchers in one city, SAM launchers in another, radars in another, and infantry in the final city. As you annex more cities, you can diversify by building a navy and establishing a military base city for theater missile defense systems. For a non-landlocked nation, the setup is similar, but you'll have three cities for army production and one for navy. Consider producing frigates or cruisers in that naval city. Additionally, you should always make sure you are leveling up arms industries in your homeland cities, especially those producing resources you lack. For more on expanding your economy and making it the best, check out the video above. Now, let's shift focus to invading, expanding, and the strategies involved in these crucial aspects of the game. Stay tuned. As a five-city nation, expanding is vital due to the initially limited economy. It's crucial to focus on taking more cities to bolster your economic strength. This is why I recommend initiating land invasions from day one. However, early game invasions for a five-city nation come with challenges. Here are some essential tips to consider before starting an invasion. 1. Assess border threats and alliances. Check your border threats and activities. Ensure alliances with neighboring nations to avoid being backstabbed. With a small military power during early invasions, everything can be used against you. 2. Target nations with 5 to 6 cities. In the early game, focus on nations with a maximum of 6 cities. Even with the war tactics I'll discuss after, attacking larger nations can be risky, given their almost double unit count. Aim for 5 to 6 city nations or consider targeting bot nations initially. 3. Maintain homeland defense. Always, always have infantry either producing or stationed in your homeland cities. As a small nation with just 5 cities, the risk of being wiped out overnight or countered is high if you lack defensive units. Awesome, now with this tips considered let's discuss winning the war as a 5 city nation in the early game. To initiate a successful early game invasion as a 5 city nation, target a player likely to be inactive. You can detect inactive players by their lack of building activities. After that quickly confirm they have 6 cities or fewer, as discussed earlier. Now when you find the nation you're going to attack simply do the step by step guide to successfully invade the enemy nation. 1. Unit Relocation Identify a border province with the nation you plan to attack. Select all your units and relocate them to this province. Create one stack with 10 units at the front and the extra units behind it. The 10 unit stack is considered meta for boosted damage, defense, and reduced damage taken. 2. Infantry Production Swiftly ensure that infantry are being produced back in your cities to defend against potential counterattack. 3. City-by-city city invasion. Once the infantry production is underway, send the 10-unit task force to invade the first city. After capturing the city, regroup all units, including the extras, and rebuild the 10-unit stack. Leave one unit behind in the conquered city and repeat the process for the next city. Continue this sequence until the enemy is conquered or all their cities are taken. 4. Final Assault If you find yourself with only 3 infantry units remaining, send the newly produced units to their location. Create another unit task with at least 5 units and use it to attack the remaining cities. 5. Province Conquest Once the cities are secured, use infantry units to take control of all provinces. Awesome! That is how you capture land successfully in early game, now let's delve into the annexation of cities. 
Annexing cities plays a crucial role for a five-city nation. The goal is to annex cities as soon as resources permit. However, it's important to adhere to certain guidelines before proceeding with annexation. 1. Prioritize resource production. Annex cities based on the resources you lack. For instance, if you're struggling with components, prioritize annexing a city that produces components. After the city is annexed, make sure to max out your arm industries in that city to boost component production rates significantly. 2. Proximity to homeland. Consider annexing cities that are near your homeland. Cities close to your capital tend to have higher morale, leading to increased resource production and faster building times. Annexing such cities provides you with these morale-based benefits. Moreover, proximity makes defense easier. It is also vital to defend this annexed city because if an annexed city gets taken and you recover it then you will have to annex the city all over again. Awesome that is all. By following these guidelines, you can strategically annex cities to enhance your resource production and overall strength as a five-city nation. Perfect. With all that set and put into practice you're ready to thrive as a five-city nation. Once you have more cities annexed then you should just play as if you were any nation. Quickly expanding and building stronger units which will lead to you getting the win. There you have it, commanders. A guide to winning as a five-city nation in conflict of nations, World War III. If you found these tips helpful, a like and subscribe would be much appreciated. Good luck.